Hi everyone, Shelly Rael, Registered Dietitian Nutritionist, and I want to talk about alcohol consumption. And when I first bring this up, a lot of times people start saying, oh no, I don't drink alcohol, this doesn't apply to me. And if it doesn't apply to you, you can completely skip this video. What I want to share with you with regard to alcohol consumption is what the recommendations are, what exactly that means, and the definition of moderation. Now, people say they um, drink a glass of red wine and because that's what's good for you, that's what's healthy for you, or people will say various things like, I don't drink, I don't drink distilled spirits, I don't drink hard liquor, and that's fine for them, but I want to make some things clear with regard to actual recommendations. And when I use the word recommendations, this is not to say that anybody should start drinking. It's not to say this is something we should achieve on a daily basis. It's just the guidelines, and I, I use the words recommendations, but guidelines is a better um, way of saying this. In the United States, and this is true pretty much in other uh, industrialized countries or Western countries like ours, uh, the recommendation, or I should say the guideline, is that women should have no more than one drink per day men no more than two drinks per day and let me clear up a few things there about that I'm not saying that you should have those amounts but if you choose to drink do so in moderation and that's what it means having it in that moderate amount one drink a day or two drinks a day depending on whether you're a man or a woman I'm going to define what a drink is here in a moment but I want to clarify why there is a difference between men and women and it does not have to do with our body weight because if you have a man that's 150 pounds a woman that's 150 pounds why should they have different amounts it's not related to weight and not really related to body fat but an enzyme in our body and our ability to metabolize alcohol so women have less of this enzyme they said they have it but they have less of this enzyme so women aren't able to metabolize alcohol in the same way what is a drink? It, a drink is a drink equivalent. It is related to how much actual alcohol or ethanol is in the serving of uh, alcohol. In the United States, it is in general a 12 ounce beer. Most places are serving them in a pint these days. So already a 12 ounce beer, a pint is more than 12 ounces. Basic math, pint 16 ounces. Or it is four to five ounces of wine and I would encourage people to check their wine glass because a lot of times those glasses of wine hold six to eight ounces or more. So it's not one glass of wine, but four to five ounces of wine or one and a half ounces of distilled spirit. So that would be a shot. And one of each of those would be one serving, one serving of alcohol. Now, when people say, oh, I don't drink that on a daily basis, fine, that is great. But I do find that people will have that same equivalent over a week-to-week -week basis. So even if they don't drink Monday through Thursday, come Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they're more than making up for that one to two drinks a day. This is not an average. It is a use it or lose it situation. It is based on how we metabolize alcohol, the liver's ability to metabolize the alcohol, to process it out. And that's where the recommendation comes from, or the guidelines, I keep saying that, the guidelines come in part, is the liver's ability to metabolize alcohol. So just because you don't drink during the week or somebody says, oh, I don't drink during the week, if you're having four, five, six drinks on the weekend, that's actually less beneficial it is not a good idea to do that although I know people who do that and that's that's just putting the information out there I'm not gonna go after anybody and I don't think anybody else should as long as you're not driving or operating heavy machinery that is the the general recommendations or guidelines for the alcohol consumption keep in mind though as I was mentioning the beer and wine the alcohol content does vary depending on the type of wine or type of alcohol so there is going to be a smaller recommendation or, for example, a 10 ounce glass of beer as opposed to the 12 ounce serving if the alcohol content is higher. It is purely based on the alcohol content of those beverages. There will be many drinks where you can have two or three shots in a single beverage. It's, it's, people don't think about that. So we'll just go back to college days and say a Long Island iced tea. That is not one drink there. That is several shots mixed together with a splash of soda 
and that is many many drinks in one cocktail okay so while we may want to define drinks in our own special way that is not how things work and I get this question now and then about the recommendation of the guidelines nobody nobody is saying to start drinking alcohol there are many reasons people don't drink alcohol including personal choice and I would never ever recommend somebody start drinking for any particular health benefit the the any potential benefit and researchers suggested um, health benefit research suggests it doesn't even happen until after the age of 35 so here I don't want people to take this as the dietitian said I should start drinking it's more of be aware be conscious of what these recommendations or guidelines are and that um, this is not something that a lot of people tend to be following or recognizing that if they don't drink during the week having two or three times on the weekend doesn't work out in the long run okay uh, one more thing I want to mention that's very uh, common is that in most cases we should not be mixing alcohol and medications whether it's over-the-counter medications or prescription medications and part of the reason is that alcohol is metabolized by the liver medications are metabolized by the liver or processed by the liver alcohol will take priority and if we are taking medication and we're consuming alcohol at the same time the medication may take a back seat and be metabolized and it may be that the medication is not working as effectively if we stop drinking and the medication is still be taken at the same dose the medication may start working over time so that is one of the big reasons we don't want people to mix alcohol consumption and their medication use again just because something's not a prescription doesn't mean it's not a medication ibuprofen acetaminophen aspirin those are medications um, like prescriptions just a different way of getting our hands on them hey if you ever have any questions about alcohol or any of these things I've said in my video please reach out to me ask me the questions and I will do my best to answer you or at least direct you in the or send you in the right direction with regard to these various things okay all right take care enjoy your alcohol if you choose to consume choose it and enjoy it in moderation take care bye